gave you my heart Cause there wasn't an option You gave me a world when I hadn't been Now all that I need, girl, is you here forever Looking for something I've seen is a travel machine to get me across onto your side of heaven looking for something I've seen looking for something I've seen looking for something I've seen Something I've seen Looking for something I've seen In your eyes So this was Miley Lay from The Descendants of Smith. It's a beautiful love song. The chorus I find a bit cheesy, but overall it's a great song and one that I really enjoy playing. Um, I've been going back to these songs and you know, double checking them and trying to improve uh, how to play them. And for this one, I changed uh, one thing, because I used to play it like this. And so I changed this chord here for this one. It's exactly the same chord, you just have to reverse um, a couple of notes on the finger picking but I think this way uh, it sounds more natural and it's easier to play so first of all this is in dead gap tuning but with the guitar tuned down half a tone so that you have a C sharp on the sixth string and so on like dead gap tuning okay for the verses Mostly you use these two chords that I've just played. So let's check them out in detail. First chord is this one. You press the 6th and the 4th strings on the fifth fret and then the second chord you just have to move your finger here for the third string the 
finger picking is quite loose, but uh, mostly I use two options. The first one is this one. And the second one is this one. So the difference is that on the first option you play the first string and the sixth string simultaneously when you change to the first chord. Like this. On the second option you don't do that. Uh, simpler. When you hit the, the sixth string here on the fifth fret, you don't do it simultaneously with the first one, like on the first option. So now I'm going to play both options slowly. First one. Second one. Then uh, for that line, looking for something I've seen. So you just use this shape and you move it down to the 3rd fret and then to the 2nd the finger picking is basically the same end of each verse, when you go to this part, so you go from this chord to this one, but then instead of going down to the second fret, you go back to the first chord but you lift your ring finger from the 4th string so that you can play the 4th string and the 2nd string simultaneously you do that once fourth string is opened. But you just do it once. So, as I said, the way out of each verse goes like... Jacqueline... And then you go to the second fret... Here you put your little finger on the 2nd string and then you go to this chord here okay. and on this chord when you pick the 2nd string you have to lift your ring finger from the second string so that you mute the sound 
like, like this. This is the trickiest part of the song, so I'm going to show you in detail my left hand. Now slowly. come to the chorus, or at least what I call the chorus, which is this part. You are my fantasy. This uses uh, this shape here, uh, and you start on the 9th and 10th frets. down two frets back to the first position so you do, you do this a few times and you end here always the same shape but to get to this first chord on the chorus you have to start from this last chord that you were using and slide it down to like this so let me show you the whole transition in detail So what you do is you pick the 2nd string and the 6th string simultaneously and you slide your finger on the 2nd string from the 3rd fret to the 10th fret, like this. Actually you slide the whole shape because when you get here you're halfway through to getting the, that first chord complete then you just have to add your little finger to the first string, like this and you have the, the first shape complete then when you are going back from the second shape back to the first shape once again you have to slide the second string like this 